Hello and welcome to my very messy dare. So today I want to introduce you a new little product. Uh, well, I've been working on it for ages and uh, like lots of projects, haven't quite got it out of the door until uh, the, the momentum has struck me uh, this morning to try and get, get some stuff going. So yeah, this is Storper. Storper, why Storper? Well, it's a play on words. When I was a kid, I loved a toy in the late 80s called Stomper, which was the world's first all-wheel drive little toy uh, car, not remote control, just ran forwards with two speeds, but it was made to be sort of like low ratio, so it could crawl up kind of uh, steep gradients. Absolutely loved them. Amazing toy. Anyway, so I wanted to build a robot. That's pretty chunky, uh, pretty affordable, uh, and pretty low torque, so I can get up kind of uh, nice steep gradients and can do stuff. So, kind of was influenced by Stomper, but it runs with an RP2040, uh, sorry, uh, Raspberry Pi Pico, which contains the RP2040 chip plugged in. So, hence, instead of Stomper, it's Storper. There we go. So, Storper. Storper is essentially a uh, PCB chassis. Um, uh, for a, a sort of modular robot, really. So, yeah, it's driven by uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. Um, at the moment, I've got a couple of examples of driving this stuff with um, the non-wireless version of the Pico, but I imagine... Oh, it's all open source, so uh, all of this is on the repo, and there's a couple of examples up there as well. Uh, but I imagine that um, we'll get into... Uh, if people get into it, we could uh, slap the wireless version on and uh, do some wireless stuff with it. Um yeah, basically, the premise is, is I wanted it to be pretty affordable for people to get into robotics, but also pretty adaptable. So the basic package is you can buy the PCB. The PCB has four motor drivers, the L9110S motor drivers uh, already on board. And I'll supply it with the uh, header socket uh, for you to populate um, in, into the board uh, to put your Pico in. If you want, you could put it direct to the board if you want to do a lower, a lower sort of... Uh, a, a more sort of flush fit kind of design and um, yeah so um the chassis has uh numerous bits and bobs to it so it's got the motor drivers it's got uh, an external power input so you can drive this uh from a battery solution which we'll talk about in a little bit or indeed you can drive it straight from the usb with a little usb pack um and it's got a load of the pins broken out into these two panels in fact it's got all the pins broken out so there's a rake, rake of pins there and then there's a few more left over there the idea with this is, well, you notice I did a clever thing where I've got the ground and the uh, uh, V-SYS, the power, um, laid out in such a way that if you made an, an adapter for this, if you put it in the wrong way, you won't short it out because it's sort of reversible. Um, the idea is, is that we can make like little mini hats that could come off here with sensors um, that could be mounted above or below. Something just fell off my desk and clanked. Um, yeah, so that's the plan with those. And then these are just, I didn't want to leave uh, any excess pins wasted so uh there they are just broken out to that thing it's got this hole here which i'm calling the really useful hole um to mount the motors which i'll talk about in a minute you don't actually need to use uh, anything you can just wire them into the uh into the motor mount points uh really useful hole if you want to run some wires around here and you need to bring them up through the stack there's a there's a hole there for you it's got these other holes because we can mount uh what i'm referring to as decks on top so uh four little standoffs if we use 15 millimeter standoffs and um, it just clears a raspberry pi pico mounted into the header stuff so yeah it's quite a neat design um there's numerous ways you can power it and then there's numerous ways numerous different types of wheels you can put on it um, and so uh, a question that i think i'm going to get asked is why haven't i used the commercially available little injection molded uh stick on uh, n20 motor clamps well yes this is running on n20 motors as is this one these clamps basically mean that uh the, the motor is attached but they're a bit bigger than the commercially available ones, and the hole spacing on the chassis is a bit bigger. And it means that we can actually 3D print, which these clamps are 3D printed, the files are provided online, or if you haven't got access to a 3D printer, uh, I'll put an option on my Tinder for you to buy a pack of these as well. Um, you could re we can rework this so that we can, you know, we can create a model for a different motor. Uh, or 
or lots of different uh, things that we could do. So, for example, I want to um, not use an N, uh, all four N20 motors on one, and I want to make like a big block with a bearing in it and a roller pulley to make like a tracked version of this, because I think a tracked version of the Storper would be uh, very cool. Um, so, yeah, so um, having this extra size and footprint for the motor mount means that we've got um, options in terms of we can model different things to it and we can create different kind of devices. Uh, you'll notice that these have got two different wheel sets on it so on the n20 motors there's loads of different wheels available including mechanum wheels mechanum wheels allow you to do the clever stuff that hopefully i've shown somewhere else in this video um and you need a motor driver per motor per wheel so that's why we've gone for four uh, uh motor drivers on, on this system um loads of wheels these are the pololu um yeah, these are really nice wheels, actually, uh, for this. Nice tyres. These are some of the Pimeroni ones, I think, uh, that they sell for um, various of their robot platforms, uh, which are nice. Uh, but again, to make it cheap, and if you've got access to a 3D printer, these are some PLA core wheels that I printed with TPU tyres, which are not too bad. And um, The files, again, are up online. So basically, what I'm trying to do is make it that if you've got access to some kit, all you've got to do is buy the PCB and then you can add stuff. You might even have like N20 motors in your um, collection. Um, yeah, um, but I am selling, uh, yeah, I'm selling it as PCB on its own. You can buy some of the uh, wheel mounts, uh, motor mounts if you want. I'm not making wheels, um, but um, I'm providing the files and people can buy uh, commercial files. I'm selling two different types of uh, deck. So the deck with lots of holes in it, which allows you to route things through. Um, and a, a sort of solid deck if you just want to put like a big battery pack on the top or whatever. Um, I've got a little USB battery pack. You'll see this in the little clips. That um, is one that I made from like a, a, a vape battery and a couple of uh, cheap boards that can stick on the top. Um, you can fit a small like kind of Poundland battery pack fits, uh, you know, it hangs off a little bit, but it fits on the top quite nicely. Um, or as I say, there are numerous options for um, adding kind of battery stuff. This is an AA battery holder. It doesn't run on an AA battery, but an AA battery holder will take one of those 14500 uh, LiPo cells, like a small 18650. So uh, on the power input, it's diode protected, so you can have power going into there as well as uh, a USB uh, into there for programming. It won't, it won't freak out at that. Um, and... Um, basically, you uh, can't exceed 5.5 volts on this input because of the regulator that's on the uh, Raspberry Pi Pico. So, yeah, so you can put something like a LiPo that, that, that'll go up to like 4.2 volts uh, straight into it and it'll run quite happily. And the other thing I've done, which I can't see, which is quite sound. Oh, look, I found another tire. That's another wheel set I made years ago on my blog. So that's uh, made out of bathroom silicon and some 3D printed stuff. Anyway, um yeah, I've got another power system somewhere on my messy desk, which is a, a, an 18650 battery through a, a buck boost kind of variable converter, which I've set up to just under 5.5 um, uh, volts and uh, yeah, happily kind of plays with these nicely. So um, yeah, that's that's the thing. Really interested to see what people make out of them. Um, hope you find it cool. I've really enjoyed making them. Um, there's, I think, about 40 uh, available in the first run. So check out my Tindy link before. And, um, yeah, do something cool with them and, and let me know on uh, Twitter or Mastodon or get in touch with me. I'm knocking more things off my desk now. Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.